in the plant, you want it to start to flower right then and there. So in the last week, it's used as a hardener. So the last few weeks of flower, the product is used as a hardener. So that's the big up powder. The ginormous is, uh, is also a PK. It's a liquid. Uh, what separates the two here is, uh, well, obviously one's a liquid and one's a soluble powder. But this actually is also 100% uh, biodegradable. It's amino chelated, plant-based amino acids. Um, it's the only PK boost in our, in our industry that actually is chelated with amino acids. So the salt index is really low. So you're not going to have any kind of biological activity being choked out by the high parts per million that you're using with this PK, which traditionally synthetic chelates obviously in high parts per million are going to choke your biological life out. So we, we really did that with this in mind. The ginormous also has a carbohydrates in it. So it has complex carbohydrates as well as uh, elements of monopotassium phosphate, it has iron, uh, it has some calcium in it also. So that's the ginormous. Okay, um, the CMAG. CMAG is a 134. There's some NPK in there. It's 3% chelated magnesium. Uh, there's chelated copper and boron also. It is a magnesium supplement. The, the reason why it's called sea mag is because there is some seaweed and cytokinins from the seaweed. Um, cytokinins induce cell division. You know, they're, they're extracted from seaweed. So the product is called sea mag. So it is a magnesium supplement and some seaweed also. Sea cal, the same thing. As sea cal is 3% calcium. Majority of calcium supplements in the industry are about 1%. So this is a 3% calcium, it's 200, so there's a little bit of nitrogen in there. Um, CCAL also has 0.1% of potassium silicate. So there is some potassium silicate also, and there's some seaweed and cytokinins in CCAL. So this is a calcium supplement. And one thing we do that other companies don't do is we separate those two, um, mainly because uh, it's important for us to to think of supplementing calcium and magnesium at separate times. Um, you know, as a, I'll, I'll go back to using our bodies as an analogy because we are walking plants. I mean, our bodies require a lot of the same activity that plants require. A lot of the same elements that plants require, we require, and we actually used to get those from eating fruits and vegetables, but now that our soils are so depleted, we don't get those supplements as much. So calcium is something early on that we're told, drink a lot of milk, does the body good, build your bones, build your structure. And calcium for plants is the same thing. You want calcium early on. I mean, granted you're going to have calcium all the way through in your base nutrients. So base nutrients should provide every element necessary for plant growth. When you're supplementing something, it's on top of those elements that you're feeding in your base nutrients. So uh, calcium is still going to be there in the later stages but we think it's, it's more important to supplement calcium in the earlier stages for the same reasons that it is for our bodies. You know? And magnesium is something as we grow older in life, we become more magnesium deficient as people. You know? And plants also, there's certain plants out there that actually, towards the later stages, they love that magnesium. You know, they want a lot of that magnesium. So it's really important for us to be able to separate those two and not just recommend them you know, for no reason. You know, because you are getting those elements in your base nutrients. So, um, Humboldt, we touched up on that. That is our humic acid. Um, I'm just running through our feeding schedule here from our drain to waste, and then we'll talk about uh, the recirculating system also, which we've kind of, uh, you know, in our research and development, we've, we've def definitely narrowed down certain products for aeroponics and deep water culture and recirculating systems, and we've narrowed down drain to waste systems. You know, so there's certain things that, you know, you wouldn't want to cross over, so we're not, we're not trying to tell you to cross these things over for any kind of marketing reasons. We want you to have success. We want you to know that what we're recommending, we've tested and we know is going to work, you know, for your, for your scenario. And there's so many different variables out there. We're trying to figure them all out for you, so you just follow the chart. <laughs> you know, take the thought out of it. The oneness, the oneness uh, truly is a one part. The, the uh, oneness is the only one part that's chelated with plant-based amino acids. There are no synthetic chelates in the oneness. There's carbohydrates. Uh, what makes it... Uh, 
what makes it unique is that it's 100% biodegradable. So the one, oneness was really done, uh, done well with, with, the, the, with biological activity in mind to make sure that we're not going to choke them out. And it also has the carbohydrates that feeds the biologicals. So it's a one part, it's a five, nine, four. And unfortunately, the one element that we couldn't get into the one part is calcium. And if any company out there tells you there's calcium in their one part, <laughs> tell them it's not true. Because, I mean, it, we have some of the best scientists and chemists working for us. And, and we, we tried our damnedest to get calcium in there, but it's the one element that locks out with a lot of the other elements. So um, uh, that's no big deal. You just supplement in calcium. But in the concentrate form, uh, calcium is an element that's really difficult with a lot of the other ele elements. So... Um, the Oneness program, uh, we designed the Oneness program with, uh, with the sign of the times in mind. Oneness is really what, uh, it's the most simplistic program that we have. It's, uh, it's, it's a lot of what we've tried to do with other programs. We've tried to pack it into the Oneness program and make it as simple as possible and the most affordable uh, uh, actual program that we have. So it really is a great program for your first-time customers, for your first-time growers. Um, it's an introductory program that we developed for um, for for basically uh, no-brainers. You know, you really wanna you really wanna uh, uh, use the oneness program with with that in mind. And it, 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 there there is a soil program on our website, and there is a, a recirculating hydroponic. Uh, program on our website, www.humboldtnutrients.com. Don't forget the D. <laughs> a lot of people do. <laughs> Verde. Verde is a 16-1-2. Verde in Spanish means green. For all you green goes out there. <laughs> Verde is a 16-1-2. Uh, a lot of companies have come out with 16 0 zeros. The base nutrient in a 1600, the base is UN32. UN32 is urea nitrogen 32%. You cut that in half with water and humic acid and you get 1600. And what we chose to do is not make such an incomplete uh, sup nitrogen supplement. Because obviously nitrogen isn't the only element a plant needs. So there are companies out there that will call a 1600 a grow formula, which you can't call a 1600 grow formula when a plant needs all these other elements. So it's a 1612. There's nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium, iron, magnesium, manganese. Uh, it's more of a complete nitrogen boost, a, a complete supplement, nitrogen supplement. A lot of available nitrogen. So this is really a great foliar spray, which um, uh, it's a green up foliar spray that will make your plants instantly green. Um, it, uh, it's a really concentrated product, so we don't recommend you going over five mils with it, especially if you're using it in conjunction with other products. Humboldt Sticky. Humboldt Sticky is a wedding agent. It's a uh, Kilaha Saponaria. There's other uh, surfactants in there. A wedding agent creates uh, a bond between what you're trying to spray, whatever, whatever elements you're actually in a foliar spray or even an insecticidal, a pesticide. A lot of times that just runs off with the water when you spray it. What a wetting agent does is it's a surfactant, it's a sticker. It actually helps what you're trying to spray stick to the plant. And not only does the humble sticky stick to 